Greetings, Sir and Sirettes, and welcome back to Banished with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to the ever-prosperous, ever-changing village of Lathsburg. So, off-camera, I've been a bit of a busy bee, as usual. I've started to increase the size of our little residential area down here, next to the dairy and the pastures, and I have finally purchased some cotton and some flax. Now obviously we can grow both if we so choose, however a weaver can only use one at a time, and I'm not sure how fast they are actually used. Of course we need these to be woven into certain fabrics so that we can either use linen or cloth to start making some hull components so that we may finally have our own little warfen ship, which can essentially get wild blubber. Yes, we're sending ships into the high seas to get some wild blubber so that we may convert it into lamp oil. The oil press and the weaver are currently being destroyed because I'm going to be moving them elsewhere. The oil press will be moved down here near the magazine which will have some new storage sections in just a moment, that's one of the things we're going to be working on, which will store the blubber so it's all nice and compact. We're also going to have the weaver over here, next to where the cotton or the flax is going to be stored. I think I'm going to go with cotton, because cotton plants are actually quite pretty. I've also increased the amount of precious mines we have up here, and although they're currently not being worked, that was just because we had too few miners a moment ago. Our population was once again hitting one of those stages where it's clear that I didn't build houses in that kind of time frame. With all the houses down now, however, our population once again is on the increase, and so is the amount of country houses we are adding, as I really do love this little residential area we're putting down here. If we have time today, I would like to try and explore some of the cosmetic things you can add to the village, the decorations that is, because, well, there's quite a few of them. They're pretty much useless, but they simply look really Really nice, so I really want to start adding them. It's things like large carts, we have street lanterns, which again cost oil, we have scarecrows and, well, punishments, which we probably won't add, and privies. Yes, you can add toilets if you so desire, and I think I will near the farms, so that people can work there and such. We also have crates, and there's just loads of stuff. Benches, so we could add a small farm if we so choose. Log it's just loads, I can't really get into all of them right now, but I really want some of these in the village, and I'll probably have something like a pond and possibly a small, a small pretty area, probably here, as this area here is going to be an awkward, it's an awkward size to really fill, because it's not quite big enough to fill anything of real use, but it's not quite small enough to have a simple country house backing there, so most likely I'll make this section a nice pretty area for our people. Oh, you have campfires, that's really nice. And that's only one section of all the different um, decorations. There's also signs and... Okay, I could just look and say about everything there forever. So let's just skip ahead until we have the cloth growing or the wharf and ship finished. Of course, which won't be the case. What I was meant to say is the cloth growing or possibly even the oil press created once again. Aha! Something else to talk about. The the second Cooper has now been finished. This means we are now also producing barrels. And I'm and you may be asking yourself, why on earth do we need barrels? Because of this. We are now creating beef jerky, which requires barrels, logs, and beef cuts. So we're adding yet another form of food to the diet. So right now we have so many different types of food, it's absolutely ridiculous. And we're constantly increasing that as time goes by. I do still want some more cow farms, however, because, honestly, they're being fantastic. I would say it's the one pasture that really produces enough food to be worth it just for food. Although the bison pasture is fantastic, this is much bigger than this, and yet this is producing just far more food in general, with not only milk, but also beef being produced. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I may simply remove some of this area here and move this elsewhere, the brick production, so that the pastures can still say, stay in the same area. I'm not quite sure just yet. Look how much jerky we've made! 
the fields of cotton are now being farmed, and that is absolutely fantastic. They are really pretty in this game. It's making, like, little fields of snowdrops. Ah, oh, how sweet. So that's absolutely fantastic. Still nothing we really want to trade at the moment, but look at that. All of that lovely cotton, which as soon as the weaver is finished and autumn has hit, we can have our first lot of cotton. So that is absolutely wonderful. The weaver over here has been removed, fantastic, and have we made, you know, we haven't quite made the building supplier yet. I want to see just how difficult it is for us to actually build the building supplies for ourselves. Although we are now finally getting enough gold to get building supplies more regularly, it would be nice to see just how difficult it actually is. We just need one more brick apparently. Well, whilst everything is being created, what I've decided to do is actually start using this space. So first of all, I would really like a schoolhouse. And since we're using the one-room schoolhouses quite a bit recently, I think it'd be better to simply use the old style of schoolhouse, which is the traditional one in Banished. So we're going to have its own little corner sorted out here. I'm not sure if this is actually upgradable, so it could be a bit of a downside to actually use it, but at the same time I really want a bit of variation. Let's have the brick road here, uh, remove it from there. We'll figure out a way to use this area. I mean, we could have a butcher's, but honestly, I like having the little butcher's road over there. So what do we want in here? Let's have a quick look at the decorations. One of the decorations did catch my eye, and that is the ponds. We have the smaller size pond, which could actually go there, honestly, so that's something in the future. But we do have the large pond, which I think will look fantastic around about, let's say, here. We can then have... Stone benches, because stone ben- uh, Actually, no, they look really boring. Perhaps do the wood benches actually have a backing on them? Yeah, I think I prefer the wooden benches by far. Let's have a couple of... Did that just turn itself around without me actually having a chance to select that? Okay, not having those two benches. Hmm, I can't select them. There's a good chance, like the Scarecrow, I'll have to wait until it's actually built to be able to select it. Which was really annoying, because you have to build it and then upgrade it, at least in the case of the Scarecrow. There's a slowed down time a little bit, so we have a little bit less of a frantic background and carry on. So, back to what I was doing there. Nope, you. That, I want you like this. Oh, it was just changing the style each time. Okay, nothing big. Uh, no big problem, at least. That should be absolutely fine. Okay, then. So, I want a little wall around it, because I kind of do. There's the wire fence, which I think would be kind of nice. Ah. I was hoping it could slot here. It would have to go... Yeah, I was actually hoping perhaps it could go on the fence. I think you could have a ghost decoration, which essentially can put anywhere you want, it simply doesn't count as being there, which is kind of awesome, you can put it literally anywhere. But I would rather not have that just be- Oh wow, look, we've got we've got the Union Jack! Um, oh, well, it's only Union Jack if it's above a blah blah blah, I get it, I know. Hmm, I'd kind of like that actually, um... Oh wow, each time you click- oh, of course it has different variations. Wow, it had the Scottish flag, it has so many flags, it's ridiculous. I kind of- want every flag somewhere. For a second there I thought, yeah that is what I think is, okay yeah that's not the current flag of the United States of America of course. Hmm, where should I put this? I think we should put it next to the tax office. <laughs> Definitely. What way to show national pride than by taxation? Uh, we'll think of somewhere else to put that later on. Don't really want to force put it somewhere. I uh, don't really want barrels there either. Ooh, a little rock would be nice though. A little rocky area there. That would, that'd be rather nice, wouldn't it? Yes, that'd be rather nice. Have a large rock there. Since we can't actually fence it off. I mean, we could fence it off if we removed some of the road, but I like where the road already is. So we should have put the pond a bit more in the middle, but there's simply not enough space for that. So that's just something we're not going to be able to do. There are hedges, however. Ooh, which can be placed on a um, road. That's I wanted to see. Customizable? Whoa! Oh, that's awesome! Does it, is it meant to be hollow through? Oh, you can't actually turn it around. Clearly, it's not really meant to be hollow, I don't think. There is the- oh, that's what I wanted to see, a hedge archway, hell yes. 
have that there. Then we have the hedge corner piece, which doesn't go there because of the house. I thought we'd be able to. Arr. Let me guess. I can't select it until it's built. Of course I can't. Well, I don't need it there anyway, but still. Wow, it's weird because it's hollow and that kind of is really creepy, actually. Okay, let's use these then, shall we? Uh, can't we have one bit? There we are. A bit too long. But the four wide. That should do it, right? Perfect, okay. So at least that actually has a reason to it. Back to waiting for everything to be finished. In fact, how is the weaver coming along? Sadly, not quite done yet. Of course, only during the winter do we actually have many labourers, because everyone is currently farmers. Hmm. Wow, it's a lot of cotton. I wonder how much cotton's worth on the trade. Well then, it turns out not only are furnishings far easier than I actually thought, but the building supplies are far, far easier than actually expected. All we need is brick, glass, and lumber. Three things we have in very high numbers. So the building supplier can start actually building some of the building supplies, which means we can actually speed up that process. Is the weaver finished yet? Yes, it is, of course. So cotton, and let's have a weaver. So now, the building supplies are being created, as well as purchased for our lovely wharf and ship and our new shipyard will be st will be stocked rather with cloth very soon meaning well i may as well actually start some work on it so let's remove a couple of builders put that there and have one spare laborer perfect look at this beautiful little seating area isn't it just the most tranquil area you have ever seen now with custom hedges which of course don't abide by the regular rules of the hedges and thus can be placed anywhere i'm actually really happy with this it's kind of a waste of space but it looks nice nonetheless and please ignore the fact that people are currently dying of disease thankfully this time it is only in Influenza. And of course, although influenza can be deadly, it is technically a killer disease, it's very unlikely even in the times of which Banished is set. Although I have seen people die a lot from it in the past, where I was very slow to actually respond, simply going with the, with the rule of, oh, it's only influenza, I'm sure my village won't be too hurt, and then proceed to lose like 10% of my population because of it. But of course, thankfully, this time we have a doctor, we have a hospital, it should be cured pretty soon but more importantly we have a wharf and ship which apparently just generates any type of food uh, well any type of resource in fact I was expecting it to basically give you a choice between food and blubber but apparently you simply get both so I want people to work there of course we currently don't need our builders so let's put it up to three and let's continue our schoolhouse of course has also been built I do prefer this schoolhouse to the other one although I do think they look uh, very similar similar or the same at, the, at their starter level. They are very similar, but I prefer this one. It looks more, I don't know, rural? More rustic? I don't know what it is about it, because the other one does look really nice. Perhaps it's just a bit of variety since I've seen the other one so much since starting this mod. Now, I don't expect this boat to actually go anywhere. It's a very stumpy boat. It kind of... Oh, look how big she is compared with the boat. That's fantastic. And of course, the job is sailor. Let's hope we actually start getting some decent stuff from this. And with that, we need to decide where the oil press is going to go. Anyway, I've went ahead and I've built some more storage barns, which I'm going to start upgrading straight away into the next level. I'll upgrade those two. Then once these are upgraded, I'll upgrade this one. And I think the oil press could go somewhere here, depending on its size. I'm not actually sure just how big the oil press is. Oh, that's actually quite a nice size. It'll fit in here quite not. Oh, yes, it can. I was about to say, oh my lord, please. Don't say it's not going to fit. But yes, it just about does. It looks a little bit cramped, though. It looks a little bit forced, honestly. So, is there anywhere else we... I mean, we could put it here instead, next to the fabrics makers. Next to the tailors, rather. The weavers over at the top, isn't it? Not there. Hmm. Or we could put it over here. We do have this empty space at the moment, but I want to fill this with fishermen and such, so probably not. Yeah, I think that I'm going to put this here. That seems okay to me. I'm not overjoyed, and if I figure out a better place for it, I'll definitely move it, because 
I'm starting to really love this little village. I don't know what's going to go here. It looks like I may have accidentally boxed it in too much. I may remove this market because, well, honestly, we don't need both. And then have something else here. Change where the smokehouse is, maybe. Have more butchers down this road and have the smokehouse at the end. I'm not too sure right now. Also, meat locker, best idea ever. That's being so darn useful, particularly for the dairy. We really need more dairies. That's not keeping up at all. Hmm, well, that's good for me, honestly, because the dairy is a really good way to get a variety of food. We're currently not all that healthy, so we do need to start focusing. Did I actually delete it? Yeah, there it is. We really need to upgrade this very soon. The Apothecary, of course. Hmm, how would I change this? Well, after a quick look-see, after a quick drinking break, we have this here, which only requires honey, bone meal, and cloth. Of course, we have all of these in quite good amounts. The honey being a bit less so because it's being used up so quickly for the mead, but there we are, one form of healing item, which I'm very happy with. Well done, Mr. Apothecary. You must be very proud of yourself. So, that should start to increase the health, and that's sounded remarkably sarcastic. So we probably do want some more apiaries then to keep up with that demand, which is fine by me as well. The honey becomes mead for, for happiness and the beeswax becomes a trade item in the form of candles. So both of those are pretty darn fantastic honestly. So we can have these all the way along here because I do like how they look. We still need to add the little mini market here soon, which will be the in fact, let's do it now, which is the modular building, which I believe is in here. There we are. Urban food market. It's only food, but still it'll bring a lot of stuff in, including watermelons for the wineries. And that actually looks a lot better than I thought it would, as it looks a lot more like the regular, uh, more, uh, not more, uh, more industrial, more food producing buildings. Let's have that there, finishing off that corner. Maybe one off though, so we can have a little bit of a dirt road there to connect this. Okay, so we'll let that get built, and we'll see how fast we start getting some pro some produce from the wharf and ship. There we are, seal meat and onions. Because, of course, I do love how, if, how someone brings an item with them from their previous job, it counts as that's been producing it. We are not fishing onions out of the ocean. Seal meat, wild meat, lobster, onions, and wild blubber. What more could you possibly ask for? Okay! So the wharf and ship provides a whole host of foods, a lot more than I was actually expecting, and I'm not even sure if this is everything it actually offers. I assume that other types of food is possible available in the future. But now we have Wild Blubber, as soon as the oil press is finished, we can actually begin the production of, well, lamp fluid, which has been some time. Sorry, is it lamp oil or lamp fluid? I really hope it's lamp oil, that would make more sense to me. Either way, that will enable us to build all sorts of stuff which we haven't been able to do for quite some time. Honestly, we have been a bit slow on actually producing this, and the first thing we're going to make is the deep mine, because I don't want to constantly move my mines around. Although we've got quite a bit of space to use here, eventually we will run out of space for mines, so making it a lot neater and keeping it in one area is probably a better idea. Well, I've got some more lobster. That's fantastic. I do love lobster. Anyone going to build this for us? I know I have far too few builders at the moment. Let's get two more builders and let's wait for it to be finished. And begin production of lamp oil. Finally, we now have a production of lamp oil, meaning just like Bill I said before, we can now start the production of the higher end items in the game. We have furnishings, we have building supplies, we have everything we could possibly want for building, at least for now. And I am very tempted to actually make a second wharf and ship. Although its main goal at the moment is simply to produce wild blubber, the different types of food it's giving us is actually a great thing. Not only will it contribute towards our average health, it will also contribute to happiness, because happiness does increase based on the amount of foods each household can actually get access to, and adding more foods to this area makes this area easier to transmit the foods elsewhere. 
So, right now as well, we do need more traders, more vendors in fact, and if you look at our population, we are very soon due for another wave of adults, another wave of labourers. So we're going to be quite okay for work for our workforce in the coming seasons, so I'm very pleased with that indeed. The next area I want to start using for something else is this here. We've already converted this area to a beautiful little... a little resource production, a little luxury production area, producing all sorts of alcohols and even pipe tobacco. And we even have the massive inn and garden, which I believe isn't quite enough. We may need a second one of these. We also definitely need another chapel. It's nowhere near covering our population at the moment. And how I'm thinking about doing this is putting a tiny little chapel here, one of these small parish houses, and I am very tempted to actually have one here as well. Since the, the whole monk making alcohol idea is a big thing in this game, I could have a little parish house kind of helping out with our luxury area over here. We also have this second fuel refinery, which I do need to turn on actually, which will start using coal. There we go. The coal. Actually, no, we need to start making it use... Yeah, yeah, definitely just coal actually. Why have I only got one per... Um, we have two of these people. Where else is the other fuel refinery then? I, I thought I only had two fuel refineries. I have one here and one... Wow, we actually have more fuel refineries than I thought. Whoops a daisy. Well, that's absolutely fine as well. We definitely need them. A lamp oil has been created from the blubber. And there we are. Our main goal has been achieved. We have continued to progress our original area, and we are now producing one of the other light game items. In fact, multiple of the light game items in the pursuit of this one. So with that, though, I am all out of time for today's recording. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Banished is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Next time, we'll be continuing to increase the pro the productivity of this dock area, possibly raising the land here, and we may be having a look see at this area, figuring out exactly what we want to use it for. Possibly more mines, making more expensive statues, possibly a new food production area, who knows. Thank you again, and goodbye.